Join WLJC on March 26th at 7 p.m. for the WLJC Spring Telethon. This is your opportunity to be a part of a special ministry, reaching the world with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Tune in each night to hear live gospel music performances, worshiping God and song and truth. We will be here to read your pledges and pray for you. WLJC reaches those who want to attend churches or those who aren't able to go to church. The WLJC Spring Telethon is from March 26th through April 7th at 7 p.m. nightly. Pledge now and support the WLJC ministry at 606-464-3600 or 859-402-0673 or go to WLJC.com and click donate. Thank you for all your support and may God bless you. WLJC welcomes you to have church with us during the hour of harvest. Call in your prayer request or praise report now. The WLJC prayer team is standing by to talk and pray with you. We have some very special musical guests here this evening to share in song the good news of the gospel. So sit back, relax, sing along, and join in with us as we pray for you and the needs of all our viewing audience. Hour of Harvest is touching countless souls from the Appalachian Mountains to the Bluegrass region, across the nation, and around the world. Live from our studios in Beattyville, Kentucky, here is your host of the Hour of Harvest, Margaret Drake. Good evening and welcome to our first night of our second week of Spring Revival. Last week we had a good a week of preaching and singing and this week we have more scheduled and so we've been just praying and, and asking the Lord's help in, in our services and we're believing it's going to, it's going to happen. And uh, so uh, uh, just we invite you to stay tuned and if you need prayer, Dottie has some good phone operators up there and they'll help uh, They'll talk to you and pray with you, whatever, and uh, and then uh, if you if you just want to call and uh, tell us, uh, give us a praise report, we love to have those too. But anyway, we're we're all settled in here. We have a studio full of people, and we're believing the Lord to do what He has in mind to reach the people. We know there's a lot of a lot of folk tonight that are standing in need of prayer. So many families are being torn apart one way or, or another. So many uh, things happening. And so therefore, uh, we all need the touch of the Lord. So tonight, if you need help in praying, well, just just go ahead and call and we'll, we'll be glad to hear from you. Uh, and one, uh, one uh, more thing we want to mention, and that is that... Uh, uh, we want you to still, you folk in uh, uh, Pikeville and Floyd County that uh, have been taken, that WRGC has been taken off of the Intermountain Cable Company. Well, we want you to uh, call them and let them know that you want us back on. Now, we don't understand why they did or what's going on, but we do know that that we are missing some of our friends that's on there, and so we would love to, we would love for them to put us back on. So, just pray and and be nice to them when you call, but just let them know that this is what you want to watch is the uh, Christian TV. So uh, be sure and uh, do that, and uh, so just get ready now for a good service. One scripture tonight. Second Chronicles uh, seven fourteen. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and forgive their sins and heal their lands. And that is a scripture that we definitely that fits our uh, situation uh, as a nation tonight. And but the instructions are: if we pray and humble ourselves and seek the face of God and turn from our wicked ways. Then will the Lord um, hear from heaven and forgive our sins and heal our lands. And our lands needs healing. Every phase of our, our country, the schools and the uh, churches and the families, and everybody needs a touch from the Lord. I have not talked to anybody in a long time that said they had didn't have a need or there's a battle that they was... They was in right then, or just had come through a big one. 
And you know, that's just part of life, but it's, uh, it's purifying us and getting us ready for the coming of the Lord, which he's going to do. Well, let's pray. And uh, uh, we have some prayer requests already in. Here's uh, for a little week old great grandbaby from Clark County, Sam is called having trouble breathing breathing and they don't know uh, uh, what's wrong they've uh, had a lot of tests and uh, her name is addison and uh, then that someone else has called that uh, her son might have stomach cancer so whatever your problems are tonight if you want to share them if you want to call for prayer that will be fine all right let's pray father in the name of jesus we thank you for another night another opportunity that we have to for the next two hours to tell and to talk and to tell and to sing about you and about your love for us and about the our only way to heaven is through you, Lord Jesus. And so we thank you and we praise you that we can share once again this great news that you have given us. So bless everyone that's going to be here in the service. Bless our singers and our our preacher for tonight and the phone operators lord help us all to do what we can to lift up your name and it's in that name we pray amen all right tonight to sing for us we have the full gospel evangelistic uh, ministry from Irvin, kentucky with pastor larry mm -hmm. collins and uh, so they're going to sing for us and then then we have uh, pastor henry lloyd deaton to preach for us tonight so we have a good service lined up, and we trust that you've been praying for us. Pray that uh, that people will be reached with the gospel tonight. Let's welcome right now the singers. Praise the Lord. Glory to God, Sister Merle. We're glad to be here tonight. Hallelujah. To lift up the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hope we can be a blessing to you tonight. Hope well, maybe we can sing a song or speak a word that will touch your heart tonight. Glory to God. Hallelujah. If you're watching tonight and you don't know Jesus, you don't have that personal relationship with Jesus Christ, we'd like to invite you right now. Glory to God. Just open up your heart. Let the Lord begin to deal with you and to move in you. Glory to God. Call upon his name and receive him as your Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Holy Ghost, take my mind, Ernie. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Ghost, take my mind. Yes. Make me feel that spirit divine. To it home on high Holy Ghost won't you take my mind When I sit on every call Oh please help me when I call God never laid his arms on time Holy Ghost won't you take my mind Holy Ghost, won't you take my mind? Lead me to the Lead me to the home of high. Holy Ghost, won't you take my mind? When you're in the valley low, gone as far as you can go. God never Dogs on time. Holy Ghost, won't you take my mind? Holy Ghost, won't you take my mind? Let me feel that big divine. Lead me to the home on high. Holy Ghost, won't you take my mind? Let's feel that 
Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Like a lamb led to the slaughter, Jesus never opened his mouth. From the trial to the crucifixion, and to the grave he was laid down. But after three days in a garden tomb, I can hear the angels sing. As the lamb came forth, as the lion and the lion became the king. Well, you won't find me. truly do. I believe in the Father and I believe in the Son. I believe in that precious Holy Ghost. Glory to God. I believe that it takes the Word, glory to God, to purify us and to cleanse us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I know without Him, glory to God, I can't do anything. But I know that the Scripture tells us we can do all things through Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. And I always need His help. Glory to God. I believe 
believe that he bore stripes for the healing of our body. Glory to God. That he shed his precious blood for the remission of our sins. The stripes that he bore upon his body was for the healing of our body. Glory to God. Next song entitled Healing Word. Glory to God.
entitled even if you know even if he don't ever bless me again yes. even if he never touches my body again he's still my lord Amen. he's still my master Amen. he's still my everything yes. glory to god hallelujah. and my trust is in him hallelujah glory to god thank you lord Thank you. 
Sometimes you lose some And right now Right now I'm losing back I stood on this stage Night after night Reminding the broken It'll be alright right now Thank you, Full Gospel Evangelistic Ministry from Irvine, Kentucky, for the singing and uh, 
they're going to be resting while we have some preaching and uh, then they'll be back later to sing for us. But uh, this is our spring revival and we always give uh, the preaching uh, all the time they need for in, in this time because it's a special time. It's a time we've set aside to share the gospel. And so tonight we're so happy to have uh, to preach for us. Uh, Pastor Henry Lloyd Deaton from the Brown Mission Christian Church in Manchester, Kentucky. And uh, so you pray for him and enjoy his uh, preaching. We, we've heard different ones say this is the kind of preaching they grew up on and they love it. And so you pray for Brother Henry Lloyd Deaton now as he uh, preaches for us. Amen. We just appreciate the Lord. Thank him for this privilege and opportunity to be back. Amen, and revival, thank God. There's been revival spirit here tonight. Amen, these singers have done a wonderful job. Amen, and we just appreciate the Lord. Amen, it's all about the Lord Jesus Christ, lifting up the name of the Lord. Amen, that's why we're here, to lift up the name of the Lord. Amen, it is well, they sung that song, it is well. I'm glad tonight that it is well with our soul. Amen, if it's not well with your soul tonight, then... I know how to get that fixed. Amen. Call upon the name of the Lord. The Bible said, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So we just appreciate this great opportunity and privilege to be here. Amen. We'll preach just a few minutes and turn it back over to the singers. Amen. Sometimes we preach five minutes, ten minutes. Sometimes it's air. But amen. Just according to what the Lord allows us to do, you know. It's all about serving the Lord. Amen. And I feel His great spirit here tonight. Amen. The brother talked about believing in the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. I believe in those three. Amen. I believe in the, amen, God is a spirit and that they that worship Him must worship Him in the spirit and in the truth. For Jesus said, My Father seeketh such to worship Him. Amen. So tonight we'd like to Preach to the lost. That's our calling is to preach to the lost. Amen. And that's what we like to do is to tell the lost world and amen about the Lord. So we may never get another opportunity to preach to you again, but amen. We thank God that we've got this privilege and opportunity tonight that God has opened up a door here at WLJC that we can be here tonight, amen, and to share the gospel with you and Say a few words maybe to encourage you or say something that would cause you, amen, to want to serve the Lord. Say amen. So we'll preach a little bit tonight in the book of Romans. Amen. Romans, the 10th chapter, very familiar text of Scripture. Amen. Here is Brother Paul talking to the Corinthians or to the, to the Roman church. Amen. says, Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. For they being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believeth. For Moses describeth the righteousness which is of the law, that the man which doeth those things shall live by them. But the righteousness which is of faith speaketh on this wise, Say not in thine heart who shall ascend into heaven, that is to bring Christ down from above, or who shall descend into the deep, that is to bring up Christ again from the dead. But what saith thee at the word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth and in thine heart, that is the word of faith which we preach, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is uh, made unto salvation. For the Scripture said, 
Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. I thought about today, amen, there's so many people out there, amen, that are searching and looking and seeking and trying to find, amen, peace, amen. And I thought they're trying everything there is, amen, but the Spirit of God. I thought today, free, and a lot of people like to be saved, amen, but they don't know how to be saved. A lot of people don't understand it. They weren't raised in church and don't know a lot about serving the Lord. Lord, and, uh, but I thought about Jesus Christ, amen, the Son of the living uh, God, amen, who died on the cross of Calvary and shed his blood, amen, uh, to redeem man from the curse of sin. Uh, amen. Tonight I thought about it simple to be saved. It's a very uh, simple thing to be saved, amen, to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, amen, to believe that he died on the cross. I believe that Jesus Christ, uh, amen, walked among us. I believe that Jesus Christ uh, lived for 33 and a half years. Amen. Uh, amen. That they hung him on an old rugged cross uh, and he shed his blood there to redeem me. Uh, amen. From the curse of sin. Uh, I believe that Jesus Christ is the same today, uh, uh, yesterday and forever uh, and that it changes not. Uh, and I believe the scripture says uh, it's not God's will uh, uh, that any should pray uh, but that all should come to repentance. Uh, amen. The Bible said he came to seek uh, and to save that which was lost. Uh, uh, friend, if you're out there today, and, uh, amen, and you want to be uh, uh, saved, amen, uh, uh, the Lord Jesus Christ will set you free. Uh, uh, the Bible said you shall know the truth uh, and the truth shall set you free. Uh, amen. There's nothing like old time religion. Uh, there's nothing like knowing Jesus Christ in a free pardon of sin. Amen. I'm glad one night over 37 years ago, amen, that I accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as my personal Savior. Amen. He's never left me, not for one moment or one second. He said, I'll never leave you and I'll never forsake you. He said, I'll go with you all the way even to the end. Amen. He said, I'll stick closer than a brother. Your brother may let you down. Your dad he may let you down. Uh, your sister may let you down. Amen. Uh, the pastor may let you down. Uh, your best friend may betray you. Uh, amen. But I promise you one thing tonight. Uh, amen. Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, uh, he'll never let you down. Uh, amen. He said, I'll give you uh, uh, my spirit to bear witness with your spirit. Uh, he said, Behold, the former things are passed away. Uh, and behold, all things become come new. Amen. I'm glad. Amen. This is a new. Paul said, though how the outward man perisheth, he said, the inward man is renewed day by day. Oh, amen. It's like taking a fresh drink of water. When you get up in the morning, amen, all day, amen. Now Jesus said it's like a well of water springing up into everlasting life. He told that little woman at Jacob's well as he rested on the well, little woman, come along, amen, the middle of the day to draw water. And Jesus said if you knew the gift of God, what is the gift of God? Amen, the Bible said the gift of God is eternal life. Hey, listen, friend, amen, he said if you knew the gift of God and who it is. He said to the woman, give me the drink. She said, the well is deep and you have nothing to draw with. But Jesus said, if you knew who it is that saith unto thee, give me the drink, he would have asked and he would have given thee living water. Listen, friend, I'm glad one day I got a little taste of heaven. I'm glad one day amen, I got a little drink of that spirit. I'm glad amen today. There is hope for you. There's hope for you. There's hope for your children. Amen. And the Bible said hope that is seen is not hope for that which you see. Why do you get hope for it? Amen. We got people searching today. 
They're passing churches, passing little churches every, every Wednesday night. They just go right on past the church. Amen. And Sunday morning they pass up the church. Sunday night. Amen. They just pass up the house of God. Now listen, friend, if you want peace. Amen. You go in that little church. Amen. You go in that little house of God. Amen. You can find peace. David said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. I'm glad of Jesus. Amen. I believe he's a bride of the morning star. He's a rose of cherub. He's a king of kings. He's a lily of the valley. He's everything I need. He's everything you need. I used to do the things of the world. Oh, I thought I was having a good time. Amen. Until after a while it became a burden. A burden of sin awaits you down. Jesus said, come on to me. All you that labor and are heavy laden. And I'll give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For I'm meek and lowly in heart. And you'll find rest unto your soul. Now I pray out there tonight. Are you looking for rest? Are you tired? Are you weary? He said, Thy the word is nigh thee. Even the word of faith which we preach. Now if thou wilt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus. And believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead. Thou shalt be saved. Amen. Some folks said, well, you got to give up this, and you got to give up that, and you've got to do this, and you've got to do that. Amen. That's not so. Amen. The Bible said, in the heart man believeth. Amen. Man may judge you by your outward appearance, by the way you comb your hair, by the clothes you wear. But there's a man called Jesus Christ. Amen. That looks on your heart. He knows everything about you, and he loves you. Amen. And he's, amen, hung on that old rugged cross. I believe in the blood. Amen. Somebody said, don't preach about the blood. I believe in the blood, the shed blood of Jesus Christ. There's no other name given under heaven among men whereby we can be saved but at the name of Jesus. Amen. Jesus. Something good about that name. Jesus. Just, just say that name. Jesus. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Son of God. Lord of mercy. King of my heart. Amen. Once you're touched by the Lord, you'll never be the same. That little woman with an issue of blood. Amen. She said, if I can but touch the hem of his garment, I know I'll be made whole. And she made her way through the crowd. And she touched Jesus. And Jesus said, Somebody's touched me. Amen. Listen, friend, when the Lord touches you, Amen, you'll be healed. Amen, you'll be saved. If you would allow the Lord to come in your heart tonight, Amen, you wouldn't need drugs or alcohol or an alternative lifestyle. Amen. Jesus Christ is the answer to your problems, to your needs tonight. Hey man, tonight I love him. I just love the Lord. Hey man, I love him with all of my heart, with all of my soul, with all of my mind. With all of my strength. Hey man, ain't nobody like Jesus. Old song said, I never met a man like Jesus. I've never met a friend like Jesus. Hey man, I've been forsaking my friends. I've been fake forsaking my friends and church members. False brethren, amen, falsely accused. Hey man, condemned for things I've never done. Hey man, but Jesus said, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. He knows the very thoughts and the very intents of your heart. Heart. Amen. Why don't you call on him tonight? Amen. There's people out there tonight that's lost. Amen. Jesus loves you tonight. Amen. He cares for you. He died for you on Calvary. Amen. He done everything he could do. Amen. He went all the way to the Calvary. Amen. They tied him to a whipping post, took off his clothes. Amen. Beat him with 39 stripes across his back. As her brother said there a while ago, and those stripes are for our healing. Amen. The healing. I believe in healing. Amen. Just a pa passing by Peter, his shadow passing by the people, and they were healed. Amen. They took aprons and handkerchiefs, amen, from the apostles' body, and they amen. 
around the people were healed by just touching them. I'm telling you, when the Lord touches you, amen, he don't do a halfway job. Amen, he does a perfect job. Everything about him is perfect. Amen, the Lord, amen, is the answer tonight. I wish I could get that through people's head that if they would just call on Jesus that they could really find peace. If they're searching for peace and have tried everything out there and the more, amen, the miserable every day they get more miserable. Amen. Bless the Lord. More miserable every day. Amen. Amen. People old in. Amen. Trying to find peace in drugs. Killing themselves. Amen. They're trying this and trying that. and Amen. They can't find any peace. And, amen they're searching and looking amen and they can't find what they're looking for I'm telling you tonight amen within your heart there is a hunger for God when God created man he put within man a desire to serve the master because the Bible said for the whole purpose of man is to serve God and to keep his commandments somebody says well I don't know why I was born Hey man, some folks says, I wish you wasn't even born. Listen, friend, I'll tell you why you was born. According to the preacher, hey man, you was born to serve God. Hey man, I know, hey man, when I was lost, I tried all those things. Hey man, hey man, but I couldn't find peace until one night I walked in a little church. Hey man, I bowed on my knees and I confessed my sins to Jesus. I said, Lord, here I am. I ain't no no good. I ain't fit for nothing. Amen. Lord, I've lived a very sinful life. Amen. But I'm sorry for my sin. And if Lord, if you'll forgive me, then I'll serve you for the rest of my life. Oh, listen, friend. Amen. I've been serving him ever since. Amen. The joy of the Lord came in. The comforter came in. Oh, Jesus said, Amen. He said, I'm going away. But he said, I'll pray the Father. He'll send you a another comforter, even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive. Amen. Jesus said in the world you'll have tribulation. That's all they are out in the world. Tribulation, tribulation, trouble. Amen. Just tr Amen. Agony, heartache, pain. Amen. When you go in the house of the Lord, I prayed that night and I and the Lord saved me. Amen. The devil said, son, you sure messed up now. Amen. You made the worst mistake you've ever made. Amen. Bless God. I'll tell you one thing tonight. Amen. That's the best thing I ever did do was call on the name of Jesus. Now the best thing you ever could do tonight, amen, is to call on the name of the Lord. The best thing you parents could do that's got little children, amen, growing up under your feet. The best thing you could ever do, amen, is call on the Lord. Give your heart to Jesus Christ. Take them little children to Sunday school and train them up in the house of God. I'm glad that I raised my children in the house of God. Amen, I'm glad. We've got a lot of little children in our church, about as many children as we've got adults. They make a lot of noise, amen. Sometimes they get louder than the preacher. Amen, but I'm so glad they're there. I'm just glad, amen, they're there. A couple of them sitting right over there looking at me right now. And I just thank God for them, amen. I tell you tonight, amen, the best thing you can do for your children is set in an example, amen. Amen, glory to God. I serve the Lord. Uh, listen, friend, call on him. Uh, the Bible said, seek the Lord while he's nigh uh, and call upon him while he may be found. Uh, God said, my spirit shall not always uh, uh, strive with man. Uh, amen. Today is the day of salvation. Now is the accepted time. Uh, amen. The Lord is dealing with people. I know when he's dealing with people. He's dealing with people tonight. Uh, he's knocking on your heart. Uh, he said, behold, I stand at the door and knock. Uh, if any man will hear my voice and open up he said I'll come in and I'll sup with him and he with me Amen. I've been supping with the Lord. Amen. Been drinking with the Lord. Amen. God filled me with a spirit, filled me with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Gave me the joy of the Lord. Amen. Gave me put help in myself. Amen. I'm glad I'm saved. I'm like old brother Paul. I am what I am by the grace of God. And Paul said, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is 
the power of God on the salvation to everyone that believeth to the Jew first and also to the Greek amen whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved amen that's a promise oh you don't have to quit this and that oh you don't have to worry about that amen amen you won't want that no more when the Spirit comes in, hey man, you don't have to worry about giving it up. When the Spirit comes in, hey man, that, that old man of sin is nailed to the cross. When the stronger than the strong man comes in, and he minds that old strong man, and, and he casts him out, and the stronger than the strong man comes in, which is the Lord from heaven, he comes into your heart, takes up his abode, begins to live there, leads you and guides you, amen. You know, every day won't be a good day. I've had good days and bad days I've been sick I'm in the hospital I've had disease and sickness amen and problems amen but I want you to know one thing amen to live is Christ and to die is gain amen I want you to know one thing the joy of the Lord he is our strength the word of God sit there full with joy I shall you draw water out of the wells of salvation amen I'm glad I'm still drawing. Hey man, I'm, I'm hey man, there's a well of water. It'll never run dry. I get a little thirsty sometimes. I got to hear the word of God. Hey man, a good spiritual song. A pat on the back. Or somebody says, God bless you. Hey man, or somebody in the church says, I appreciate you, Pastor. Or I appreciate you, brother. Hey man, that means a lot, don't it? God's people loves one another. Hey man, I'll tell you, hey man, the Bible said, He that is born of God is born of love. He that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. Hey man, used to I didn't love nobody before I got saved. I didn't even love myself. Hey man, but when the Lord saved me, He gave me love. Hey man, and this is a genuine love. You know, sometimes people shake your hand, pat you on the back. Hey man, tell you they love you. Hey man, a cold handshake. Hey man, a pat on the back. Hey man, and go down the road and tell a lie on you. Hey man, but this man called Jesus, honey, He'll never leave you. He'll never discourage you. He's our always to lift you up. Oh, amen, I'm glad. I'm glad of that anointing. I'm glad that he's still real in my life. I'm glad every morning when I get up that I know he's still there. He goes to bed with me every morning. Gets up every evening. Gets up with me every morning. Amen. Protects me, watches over me, shields me, keeps his hand on me all night long. Amen. Amen. Bless God, he's the best friend I've ever had. Amen. I just love him. Amen. I just love him tonight, don't you? I know some of you folks out there that ain't even saved. I know that in your heart you love the Lord. I know you want to serve God. Amen. But the cares of this world and the things of this world, amen, seem to you more important but really what is more important amen than serving God what is more important than the peace of God that passes all understanding amen somebody said I'm sure been looking for the way I'm searching I'm trying to find the way I've been looking for the way amen I, I've been searching for truth and I've been looking for the way and hey man listen friend Jesus said I am the way I am the truth and I am the life hey man the Bible says straight to the gate and now is the way that leads unto life and few there be that find it hey man broad is the, wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction and me there be which go in there I hey man listen friend I believe it's about ever hey man ever ten minutes hey man ever seven minutes somebody dies and ever ten minutes somebody's born there's more people dying than they are being born in America hey man listen friend you're gonna die I'm gonna die but I want you to know one thing hey man when I close my eyes in death I believe I'll have a smile on my face and the joy of the Lord in my heart Hey Amen. Listen, friend, it's going to be worth it all. After a while, to hear the Lord say, Well done, you good and you faithful servant. You've been faithful over a few things. I'll make you ruler over many. Enter into the joy of the Lord. Amen. Jesus said in John 14 and 1, In my Father's house, there are many mansions. 
If it were not so, I'd have told you. I go and prepare a place for you. If I go and prepare a place for you, I'll come again and receive you unto myself that where I am, there you may be also. I don't know where you're going to spend eternity. I'm going to tell you where I'm going to stay forever. I'm going to heaven. I'm going home after a while. This world's not my home. Hey Amen. There's nothing to hold me here. Hey Amen. I'm going home. I brought nothing into this world, and when I leave, I'll take nothing with me. I won't need it where I'm going. Everything will be ready. Everything will be right. Amen. There's going to be a place, amen, where there'll never be a teardrop. Amen. When you walk in this gate, God's going to wipe the tears from your eyes. Amen. Tears will never stain on the streets of that city. Amen. You'll never have to look down on the casket of your child. Amen. And don't eat on drugs. You'll never have to see another a little crippled child. There'll be no seeing, no sirens. Amen. No hospitals, no cemeteries. No mortuaries. Hey Amen. I'm going to go there. Just one, one big continual day. There will never be no night where I'm going. Hey Amen. It's just going to be one long day. There'll be no need for the sun or the moon. Hey Amen. For the Son of God is going to light up that city. I don't know about you, but I want to I wanna make it. Look, listen. I'm not homesick. I'm how to go. Hey Amen. I want to stick around as long as I can. Hey Amen. I'll do everything within my power to live as long as I can. Hey Amen to God. But when He calls, I'll answer. Job said He set bounds that I cannot cross. Job said He'll call, and I'll answer Him. Job said, all the days of my appointed time I will I wait till my change comes I listen friend Hebrews 9 and 27 says as it is appointed unto man I want to die and after this is the judgment amen it's appointed amen death's out there in front of you I used to think it was back behind you chasing you. No, it's not back there behind you chasing you. It's on down the road somewhere, around the next curve, over the next hill, amen. But there's one thing about it. You can't escape death. It's appointed on the man wants to die. And after this is the judgment. And there's only two places of destination, friend. One of them's a good place and one's a bad place. Amen. And there's going to be a separating time after a while. Amen. The goats is going to be on the left. The sheep's going to be on the right. Amen. Them on the right hand side is going to hear him say, Amen. Come, you blessed of my Father. And heard the king was prepared for you before the foundation of the world. I was hung and you fed me. I was naked and you clothed me. I was sick and in prison. You came and visited me. Amen. What about that? Separating time. Goats over yonder. Goats is going to have to go to torment. Goats is going down. Hey Amen. Listen, friend, I like to be a watching. I like to be a watching. Hey Amen. When the Lord he tells old Gabriel Michael, the archangel, of, hey, to bind that devil, that old Satan, that old sloop foot, that old lying thieving, good for nothing, low life, has deceived, amen, and murdered and killed. And, hey Amen. Deceived so many people. I like to be a witness. Hey Amen. When the Lord casts him into that lake of fire. I listen, friend, today. Hey Amen. Amen. Hey man, if you believe in your heart, I know you believe. Paul, hey amen, was before Agrippa. Hey amen, he said, oh, Paul. He said, almost thou persuadest me to be a Christian. Hey amen, almost persuaded. How many times have you been almost persuaded? How many times have you come so close to calling on the Lord? How many times, hey amen, have you decided to serve God? But for some reason, hey amen, you decided, hey amen, that wasn't for you. Oh, the devil said that's not for you. That's for somebody else. Hey man, that's for women and children. Hey man, hey man, I'll tell you, it takes a man to call on the Lord. It takes a man to call on Jesus. Hey man, I don't care how big and stout you are. I don't care if you weigh 300 pounds, you're six foot eight. Hey man, you're gonna bow before Jesus after a while. Hey man, the Bible said ever kneel bow and ever tongue will confess. Hey man, why don't you bow today? Why don't you call on him today? Why don't you seek the Lord? He's talking to you. He's calling Calling on you. He wants you to come to him tonight. Would you come? Would you call on Jesus? Would you be willing to surrender to the Lord? Don't worry about giving up nothing. Don't worry about that. Oh, I've got to do this. I've got to fix that. 
uh-uh, no, amen. If you wait until you get everything fixed up, you'll never get saved. <laughs> amen. I couldn't wait till I got everything fixed because I needed the Lord that night. Amen. I didn't need him the next day. I needed him that night. Amen. I was a wretch. I was a mess. Amen. But the Lord saved me. Lord, if the Lord can save me, he can save anybody. Amen. He said, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That's a promise. If you'll call on him tonight, he'll save you. Amen. If you'll let him tonight, he'll bless you. And he'll never leave you. Whatever situation you're in, no matter how bad it may seem, tonight, amen, the Lord will bless you. He'll save you. He'll help you. Oh, you may think, oh, I don't have anybody in the whole world to help me. Amen. There is somebody that will help you. And his name is Jesus. He'll help you. He'll never leave you. He'll never let you down. He'll never forsake you. He'll always be there for you. We hope we've had said something here tonight. It's been a blessing to you. We're going to turn it back over to the singers of Sister Margaret. All right. We're going to have prayer. Amen. Here tonight. You out there sitting on your couch. Amen. Or lying in your sick bed. Or amen. In the nursing home or the hospital or that prison cell or wherever you are tonight. Hey man, we'd, we'd like to pray with you. Hey man, would you be willing to accept the Lord? Heavenly Father, tonight, dear God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we know there's hungry hearts out there, Lord. God, we know there's people out there, Lord, that needs to be saved. Father, we know that you're dealing with their heart. God, that you're knocking upon their heart tonight. Dear God, would you move, Lord? Would you help them, Lord, to commit their life to you? God, would you move, God, up on that sick body there in that hospital bed. God, would you move on that one in that prison cell. God, would you touch that one, Lord, that's desperately lost. God, that one that's backslid. God, that one that's sick, God. Lord, that one that's on drugs. God, that alcoholic, God, that wants to be clean. God, would you deal with them, God, tonight? Would you touch their heart? Would you move in their life? God, save them, sanctify them, bless them, God. Fill them with your spirit. Let them fill your peace, God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Let's call upon the name of Jesus tonight. Glory to God. As we sing this song for you tonight, come to the altar. Glory to God. Are you hurting and broken within? Overwhelmed by the weight of your sin? Jesus is calling. Have you come to the end of yourself? Fresh. 
bear your cross as you wait for the crown. Tell the world of the treasure you found. Jesus is calling. Thank you, Lord. Jesus is calling. Hallelujah. Come to the altar. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I remember the night that I accepted Christ as my Savior. Like the brother said earlier, I didn't have to worry about giving anything up. I didn't want it anymore. Glory to God. Hallelujah. After May 15th, 1993, I didn't desire the drink anymore. I didn't desire the foul language anymore. Glory to God. It didn't take me no month to quit cussing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It changed that night when I got up from the altar. I was born again. I was a new creature in Christ Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I want these young ladies behind us here tonight to sing beloved. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hope you've accepted Christ. If not, you can still time to pray. Glory to God. There's still time to accept the Lord into your life. Glory to God.
praise the Lord. So good to have my granddaughter back with us again. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God is so good, church. If you'll hold on to Jesus. Hallelujah. Keep seeking the Lord for your children and hold on to Jesus. Glory to God. They're coming. Hallelujah. Don't take no for an answer, but just keep holding on. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Keep on walking. Glory to God. Keep a walking on. Keep a 
walking on. Walking on. Keep a walking on. Walking on. Just walk right on. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Keep your eyes on Jesus Amen. and keep walking on. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Glory to God. Thank you, sweet Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. I feel good tonight. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I believe the Lord's done something, brother. Glory to God. I believe somebody has accepted Christ. Glory to God. Hallelujah.
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to the Lamb of God. someone like me hallelujah and turn me around glory to God and begin to use me for the kingdom of God yes I believe hallelujah hallelujah I believe he could do the same thing for you tonight glory to God hallelujah brother brought some good word tonight hallelujah glory to God brought some good word no better thing that you could do right now is to fall down on your knees and say Lord Jesus here I am glory to God I'm tired of living like I've been living. Glory to God. I'm tired of losing. I'm tired of being beat. Glory to God. And get on the winning side. Hallelujah.
say goodbye down here. We'll look way over yonder. And what do you think I see? I see a band of holy angels, Lord, they're coming after me. And they go gray. Yeah. Going to hold my body down. Gonna hold my body down when I hear that trumpet sound. I'm gonna get up out of that ground. There ain't no way. Gonna hold my body down. We'll go down yonder again. Put your foot on land and see. But don't you blow that trumpet. I'm going down to the river, find my knees down in the sand. I'm gonna holler, I hold us till I reach that promised land. For there ain't no grave. Gonna hold my body down. To the graveyard, you can lay this old party down. But on that first resurrection morning, gonna get up out of that ground. Well, meet me, Jesus, meet me. Yes, meet me in the middle of the air. For oh, if these wings should fail me, Lord, I won't be there another. There ain't no grave. Gonna hold my body down. Well, there ain't no grave. Gonna get up out of that ground, there ain't no grave. Gonna hold my body down. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No better feeling <laughs> to be wrapped up in Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. No better high that you can find. Glory to God. Then in Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We're getting ready to do another song. It's entitled, I Am Here. Glory to God. Listen to the words of this song as Brother Ernie sings it tonight. Hallelujah. Let it minister to you. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. The storms are raging, 
do What should I say Not coming down Lord I came here to pray
found a friend, Ernie. Praise the Lord. Closer than a brother. Closer than a brother. Praise God. Hallelujah. If I can find it here, praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. May 15th, 1993. I found a friend. Hallelujah. Closer than a brother. Glory to God. Listen to the words of this tonight. Let it bless you. Glory to you. I found a friend. Closer than a brother. Closer than a brother As I found a friend Closer than a brother Love is more stronger Than a father Thank you for Gospel Evangelistic Ministry from Irvin, Kentucky for uh, being our singing guest tonight. And of course we had uh, Pastor Henry Lloyd Deaton to preach for us and we've been getting some of the calls here and finding out how, uh, how people felt about uh, uh, some of these things. Uh, you want to share what good things there you have? We have a salvation report from... Brother Jack, I'm going to call him Brother Jack because 
<laughs> Amen. He called in from Estill County. He said he's out of church for a while, but stopped running and gave his heart to the Lord. Amen. That's wonderful, ain't it? Amen. A lot more people like Jack out there that needs to stop running. You can just yeah. run so far. You can't outrun God. You've got to stop somewhere. Amen. The Lord will bless you if you'll let him tonight. And we have one called in here, amen, for, by Jesse in Pulaski County. Thanks for having this pastor on tonight. Help me lift out of the dumps. 89 years old. Feel better. Thank yeah. God for that. Yeah. Amen. And we have one called in here, a grandfather called in for his grandson. is in the Rockcastle County Jail, falsely accused for a crime. Been in jail for nine months. Amen. I know a man that can fix that. His name is Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. He's able to do exceedingly and abundantly. The Bible says above that which we ask or even think tonight. Amen. We have one called in by Ruth in uh, Lincoln County. Really enjoyed the preaching. Uh, for prayer, son and Anna. Anna, Scott County. Anna is 83 years old has heart problems. Their son has COPD and cancer. One called in here, name with hell, from Floyd County. Niece is in hospital in a coma since February the 12th, 2018, in the hospital for 45 days. I know a man that can raise the dead. Amen. Amen. Bring you out of a coma. Amen. He's a good God tonight. And he's able to help you, and he will help you tonight. The Bible said, Ask and you shall receive, seek and you'll find, knock and it shall be opened unto you. Hmm. Yes. Amen. All right, those are some good ones. And uh, uh, Brother Larry has joined us, and he'll be reading some. Eva from Cynthia really appreciated the singing and the preaching tonight. It's uh, lifted her up, she said. Here's a Here's a different kind of prayer request. You know, we talk about all the different kinds of ways that we need healings. Well, this lady said she wants to make amends to her father and to her grandparents, and she wants them to get to know her children. So I don't know what all went on there, but anyway, there's a healing that needs to take place. Uh, from Boonville, Tara has a tumor in her leg having tests run to see if it's cancer. Uh, Leroy from Monticello had a cyst removed from the back and ha and got infection in it, and they are having a difficult time getting it out. They need a miracle, it says. From Whitley County, uh, someone had to go to the hospital, and she's going blind in her right eye. Juanetta uh, got saved two days ago, and uh, she's been doing a lot of praying. So that's that's real good, isn't it? Amen. Uh, Larry, you have yours read through? Yes, I do, sis. Uh, <clears throat> I've got one here. Uh, I won't read the name, but it says that her neighbor's son is addicted to drugs and needs to be saved. You know, this thing right here, this, this spirit of drugs, it's not a sickness. It's not a disease. This, this is a demon spirit, and it's a strong thing that gets a hold on people, but Jesus can break that. Glory to God, he is much stronger than that. Hallelujah. That song that I just sung said that his love is more stronger than a father or a mother, but his power is much stronger than any that the enemy has tonight. Glory to God. So we're gonna be praying for this one right here, glory to God, that the spirit of drugs be broken. Hallelujah, he be set free from that, hallelujah. Phyllis in Berea, got breathing problems, says Marie needs prayer, and she's got an uncle here, Phyllis has got an uncle that is in Georgetown Hospital on life support, glory to God, needs God to move, hallelujah. Family called in here, Molly Lester, Pike County, son-in-law has broken his shoulder, whole family needs prayer, Herbert from Lincoln has COPD, Chest is really hurting tonight. Beulah Howard from Laurel County is suffering from arthritis pain. Joints are full of arthritis. 
Glory to God. Hallelujah. Lois, says her daughter in Laurel, in Laurel County, cancer specialist tomorrow. She's going to see a cancer specialist tomorrow. So we need to lift her up. Sharon. Sharon's nephew, it looks like he's 13 years old. Dirt bike wreck, leg broken, MRI needed to find out the problem. So we need to be praying for him tonight. Glory to God. And Rita in Knott County is in jail. Pray that she gets out of jail and gets straight. Needs salvation. Glory to God. You know, sometimes God will get us in a place to where he can talk to us. Hallelujah. I've known people that's got saved while they were in jail. We used to go to the prison and minister some in the prison. And I tell you what, I come back to our church and I told some of our church people, I said, we just went and ministered to some prisoners. And I said, they may be locked behind bars, but I said, you know something? They're more free than some of us are when it comes to serving the Lord and worshiping the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. They found Jesus while they were in there and they're holding on to him. Glory to God. Larry in Harlan County needs prayer tonight. Hallelujah. Janice has bone cancer. Her husband, Estel, needs salvation. So let's be praying for them tonight. Got a friend here have trouble with blood pressure. Too high. Glory to God. All right. Praise the Lord. All these needs tonight. Glory to God. And here's another one. Daughter Stephanie from Wayne County. Pregnant, having bad headaches. So pray for Pray for that family. Glory to God. Yeah. All right, sis. You got some yeah. Praise the Lord. We got one for here for Elsie Martin of Montgomery County. Hallelujah. She does need replacement surgery. Still in the Clark County Hospital. Just remember her tonight. Prayer for Bill and Glenda from Lincoln County, both having back problems. Thank you, Jesus. Betty, pray for her. I'm in the hospital now having trouble keeping O2 level in place. Uh, Ina called in and says pray for all of her family. Pray for God to meet their needs. Yes. Be still and let God move. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Well, well, you know, I, I have a praise report. I was talking to a, a father today, and his son works for the railroad company. And that bad train wreck that you saw, he missed being in that wreck by five minutes. He was late getting there, and five minutes he missed being in the middle of that wreck. So, of course, the family was very thankful Amen. for that. Amen. That that was a hand of protection. The family of Dr. Nancy West, uh, the family needs prayer because there had been a death in that family. From Somerset, Kenny has cancer and is getting worse, and he's not saved. And uh, also from Perry County, Fern has called for... Said she heard a lot of good singing and preaching tonight, and she wants prayer for all of her family. This one is for a lady for her son to keep, uh, needs prayer because he has stomach cancer and um, trying to get his kids back after a divorce. Uh, okay, uh, Greg, uh, Finley family from Estill County, there's been a death in that family. Vicki has cirrhosis and is really bad. All right, we have, uh, we're going to have these two pastors. Oh, one more. I want to remind you uh, that about the, uh, the cable system, the inner mountain cable system at uh, Pikeville and um, uh, Floyd County. We, uh, we understand a lot of folk have lost uh, service. They, uh, they have taken WLJC off of their system, and so... We don't understand why, but we, we're going to ask the, the Lord to help those co cable operators to uh, just feel led to put us back on. And those people that are missing Christian uh, service, they need to be able to hear it. So you just add this one to that one, and uh, and you, uh, you pastors, go ahead. Hallelujah. Precious Heavenly yes. Father, God, in the blessed, holy, righteous name of Jesus, dear God. We know that you know every name, every God, that's need, written Lord. down here, Lord, yes, every Lord, need, every God, sickness, every disease, every, every every disease. Lost, God, all these with God. cancer, God, God or whatever they may need. Tonight, God, I ask you to move, God, to bless, to heal, Lord, to touch, to send deliverance, God, to move, God, that's upon their bodies, Lord. touch their soul, Lord, move in their lives, Lord. God, let them know that you're real in their life, God. Heal them, bless them, touch them.
touch them. Send yes, deliverance, Lord. God. Send, yes, Lord. We'll Glory praise to you, Father. We agree in together. the mighty Hallelujah. name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. And we praise amen, you. Amen. Amen. Thank, yes, you Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Thank yes. you, Lord. All Hallelujah. right. Well, uh, we have a couple of more minutes of peace for you all. If you Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Church is Hallelujah. Just as far as you talk about the, the brother that was late. And, got, and missed that train wreck. You know, mm -hmm. sometimes we get behind people that's driving slower than we are, or we run into a little traffic jam, and we get upset a lot of times. And But you know, sometimes the Lord may be trying to detain us and keep us from something. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Keep yeah. us from being involved in an accident or something of that sort. So, so we need to realize that every time that we run up on somebody and then they're driving slower than we are and we're in a hurry, <laughs> God may be trying to keep us. Yeah. from some trouble. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. But I am so thankful tonight what God has done here in this service tonight. I enjoyed this brother's preaching. Glory to yeah. God. I really did. Really Hallelujah. It's good word. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. If you listen to that tonight and you heard that, you take hold of that and you keep that. Glory yeah. to God. And you find you a Bible-believing church. Glory to God. Somewhere where they'll preach you the word of God and get in there and get rooted and grounded and hold on to Jesus with all you have, but because I'm telling you, we are truly running out of time. We don't have much time left. Glory to God. So get a hold of the Lord and hang on. Glory to God and stay there. And I'll tell you, it'll be worth it after all. Glory to God. Brother Ernie sings that song. Sometimes heaven will be worth the journey. Yes, it will. It'll absolutely be worth the journey. Whenever we get to hear him say, enter in my good and faithful servant. Glory to God. It'll be worth everything we've had to deal with yeah. here today. Glory to God. Go ahead, brother. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Tell us where your church is. We just appreciate the Lord. Thank yes. God for this privilege. Amen. We've been part of it here tonight. The Lord's Lord. Spirit's been here. Mm -hmm. We've had some wonderful singing. Amen. Had one man, brother, got saved. Hallelujah. That's yes. worth it all. Yes. Amen. Yes. Stay on this hill for 100 years and get one soul saved. That'd be yes. worth it all. Yes. Yes. Amen. That's what it's all about. Getting people saved, born again by the Spirit of God. Getting started down that straight and narrow pathway, amen, that leads unto life everlasting. We just appreciate the Lord. Appreciate these singers. They've done a wonderful job. Amen. And I just uh, love God's people. Amen. I believe God's people loves one another. Yes. Amen. We love sinners too. Amen. Yes. Uh, the Bible said, while I was yet a sinner, Christ died amen. for me. Yes, I'm going, glad one day that he dealt with my heart. Gave me an opportunity to pray and seek his face. And he put his spirit in my heart. Amen. We've got a little church over in Clay County and Route 11 there just below the nursing home of peace. Amen. We'd like to invite each and every one to come out. We have services on Wednesday night, Sunday school at 10 o'clock on Sunday morning, 6 o'clock on Sunday evening. Everybody's welcome to come. we just like to say again, we appreciate this privilege and opportunity yes, to be Lord. here tonight. Hallelujah. All right. I'd like to give, uh, give you uh, Brother Henry Lloyd's uh, phone number, 606-598-7337, if you want to call him about the service tonight. Well, looks like we've talked ourselves out of time. So, from all of us, we want to say good night and God bless you. Thank you for being a part of the Hour of Harvest. We hope you get a blessing every time you watch. This program is available for download on your computer or mobile device at www.wljc.com. WLJC is now available on Roku and Google TV. DVD copies of this program are also available for your contribution of $15 or more. The WLJC programs including the Hour of Harvest are brought to you through your contributions of support. All contributions made to WLJC are eligible for income tax deduction. Thanks to all who support us. Without you, our programming would not be possible. If you would like to join our mailing list to receive our free monthly newsletter to keep you informed about what is happening at WLJC, along with our monthly musical guest schedule, call 606-464-3600 or write to WLJC, P.O. Box Y, Beattyville, Kentucky, 41311. Want to hear from us faster? Join our email mailing list. You can sign up at WLJC.com. It's easy and it's free. May God bless you.